Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another Iron Man Fire tutorial. I want to talk about like some inflation techniques that I found like that are pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen them, but let's check them out and let's see how what we can do. So let's drop down the rubber toy for starters. And um, yeah, we have the rubber ready to go. Let's drop down a vellum cloth. And um, we are going to drop down a vellum solver. And what we want to do is here, our compression stiffness will control how much we inflate it. So if we go to, for example, Actually, not the compression, sorry, the rest length. So let's do a rest length of, say, 0.1, and let's also kill our gravity. Let's see what we get. So off the bat, our body here inflates. Let's hit this button here so that we can get real-time feedback. I mean like play in real time um, all right so let's see if we can make that two and uh, reduce the stretch and see what we get so instead of reducing the stretch let's see if we make it Oh, I mean the stiffness. Let's make it stiffer. Let's increase our compression stiffness to 10. that default let's see maybe it's too bendy I just want it to be like a little tighter like uh, there we go so I just wanted it to feel like this like more bubbly That looks super cool. And it's that simple how oh, you can do like a quick inflation in Houdini. Now, what about if we go creative? Let's um let's let's start to mix this with like Say, for example, another object, right? So, what if we bring on a box? Let's transform it. Okay. And that's going to be our collider. Let's hit play. Look at that, a rubber toy on a box. Let's see what happens if we reverse our normals here. Let's 
some things i found that if i reverse the normals on just like close collisions like this i get better results now if we do a subdivide on our body here let's see what we get So you can see that as soon as you start to increase the resolution, of course, the simulation is going to get slower and um, it changes like it might not sometimes like having this kind of inflation seem with like less resolution is actually nicer. So that's pretty cool. And you can start to mix this with other other stuff. So you could grab that same toy, transform this guy. I'm just gonna hit here so that I see my box. Place him here, duplicate that, rotate him. I'm just making this stuff up as we go I'm going to merge so now we have these two guys here and um, hey, let's see hey, let's, let's see what happens um, all right Look at that. Eye candy. So let's just do like a quick render of this so that um, we have something that looks cool. So maybe we do a grid so that we have a ground plane. It's coming here. Just transform this a little bit up so that it's above the ground plane so maybe something like this we'll just merge this with our box And we are going to create two materials. So this is one material. We'll duplicate it. We'll call this toy. Ground. And box. The box, we want the transmission to be set to one. So it's fully transparent. The ground will leave as is. And the toy will leave as is for now. So let's come here and say, for example, our toys, give them a material. We'll say, this is our toys. Our box, we'll give it the box material. Um, and I actually, I'm gonna do a null and say out box. And we'll render that outside. So object merge. We want to bring in the box here and on our box we want to do tessellation and we do not want to smooth the subdivisions so this way we are going to give give more resolution to our box when we render it um to our grid we can just do it outside and say this is our ground plane 
and we want to subdivide it but do not smooth it and our body here we do want a tessellation but we do want want him to be smoother we'll drop a camera place a camera in the right place um and we'll need a dome I'm going to disable it on the viewport and the background. I'm going to save. And let's drop down a redshift node, render view. And let's hit render. So off the bat, that is what we get. Um, well, let's see. Maybe we do like a backdrop. You know, maybe a backdrop could be cool. So let's come here and stop the render for a second. And on my grid, I'm just gonna transform it. Super quick and dirty backdrop here. Let's have a look. All right, and what I want to do is come to my material and um, on my ground i'll just reduce the roughness so it's more reflective i'm going to make it white because it's a little gray right now i want to have a look at the box and it's got transmission but we get rid of that roughness so it's reflective and i want to have a little bit of depth of field on my camera so we're gonna come here onto our camera, hit enter and Z on your viewport. Let's um, set our depth of field to be something like that. And on redshift, depth of field and enable it. Um, let's make it more intense, more intense. And um, that way we, ha we have that nice backdrop kind of um, kind of look to it now the last thing that I want to do is um, some maybe a little bit of love to that um, plastic material maybe we don't have any roughness to it maybe we give them some color right and maybe we um Let's see, we can give it a little bit of coating and a little bit of sheen. And the last thing that I want to do is maybe play with a little bit of that color correction here. And there you go guys here's how i would set up this interesting looking inflatable bot inside of um houdini using vellum all right guys i hope you liked it and i'll be back with more